If you want to write blog articles and get those blogs out to the rest of the world, but you don't quite have your own blog ready yet, or you're thinking, actually, I'm going to use my blog and I'm going to get it out there to as many different places as I can, keep watching this video and remember to subscribe so that you never miss any of the amazing content that I'm bringing to you each and every week. Let's go. Now, depending on what industry you're in will obviously depend on where you want to show up. But if you haven't got your own blog set up yet, there's no reason why that should stop you from holding back your wisdom and getting your expertise known in a huge amount of spaces. And some of these spaces you might not have heard of that I'm about to share with you. Some of them you might have heard of, but you might have not ever associated yourself with being known on those platforms but why not if if they can do it then why not you too so these platforms there'll be some that you think no that's not for me and there'll be others that you think wow didn't even realize I could be really showing myself up there in that space as a thought leader or somebody that can contribute now the, the first thing you want to do is make sure that when I show you these platforms that you don't go into compare and despair or yeah, but everybody is so much bigger and better than me or so much further ahead than me. Seriously, every single one of the people that you see showing up on these platforms that you admire, respect and look up to, they all started where you are starting right now. So just put one foot in front of the other and start helping people. Let go of the fear of judgment. Let go of the fear of the unknown of what if people don't like it or what if people reject it or they challenge it. Let go of any of those things because what if they don't? What if the people that read it actually get some great value from it? And when you're speaking from the heart and you're really doing it from a place of wanting to contribute to their life in some way and help them move forward in their life, their career, their money, wealth, health, whatever area it is that you're an expert in or that you maybe don't see yourself as an expert but somebody who just genuinely cares about that topic and you'd like to see other people succeed in that then just start writing start contributing so the first place I want to encourage you to consider is Medium. Medium is a really popular platform for writers and thinkers people that want to reach a broad audience and communicate your message in a way that is going to either get them to think differently or maybe have a different belief than they had at the start of your article. They have a different belief at the end or that you've created some thought curiosity around it. It might be that you've sparked some creativity in them or you're helping them to go from where they are to just one or two steps further ahead than where they are now. There's so many ways that you can think about sharing your articles and Medium's a great place to start. I know a lot of people that share their content on Medium and had a, a really good response from it. And they, like you, were starting somewhere too. So if you haven't started to share your articles yet, Medium's a great place to start doing that. Another great place is LinkedIn. If you have a business audience or a professional audience, if you're not using the blogging feature yet on LinkedIn, what you do is you just go to uh, LinkedIn, go to post like you usually would post on LinkedIn. But at the bottom currently, at the point of making this view, it might change. Uh, so just have a look around in LinkedIn. But when you go to post, it'll ask you, do you want to post a, a, an article? Do you want, you know, do you want to post an image? Do you want to post a video? What do you want to post? And if you want to post a blog, then you'll choose article and it will give you the, the, the exact layout and make it really simple for you. Title, copy and paste that here body copy, copy and paste that here, add your images here. <laughs> so you can, it is really plug and play. So you can really play with LinkedIn. And these can be really great ways of you getting used to doing it on somebody else's platform. Like LinkedIn is an open platform that has millions of people on there. And if you post it on your own blog, then you've got to drive people to your blog. Whereas if you use LinkedIn or Medium or any of the places that I'm about to share with you, you're going to be having a conversation with thousands potentially millions of strangers who you have the opportunity to just make that little impact on their life and I think that's an amazing thing I think how amazing is that that without having to pay for advertising without having to pay to get yourself publicly featured in magazines and and paid for press you could actually be in front of way more people 
faster who are really interested and intrigued and curious about that particular topic. So I think it's brilliant. You'll show up for that particular thing they're looking for, whereas if you advertise, you can't guarantee the people that are going to see it. So another place is Entrepreneur. If you go to entrepreneur.com, they allow guest contributors to share their insights on various business topics. So if you write maybe two or three blogs, maybe four blogs and submit them, then you might get one of those articles featured. It's a great way of, of showing up. A place that I haven't talked about on here that I'll mention just briefly is if you want to really get found in a bigger way by journalists and people who are picking up comments and they're looking for people to write articles for magazines and things is to go to X, formerly known as Twitter, and use the hashtag feature, type in hashtag journo requests, which is J-O-U-R-N-O requests. And also there's a singular version of that. So journo request. So type one with an S and one without on the end. And you'll find that there are two Twitter feeds there or X feeds uh, that have journalists asking for people just like you to contribute in major news articles on the global press, but also in local press too. And they might be submitting a research document to Harvard or somewhere that you could have one of your comments or some of your research published in their article. And now you're, you're just using other people's platforms and networks to get your message out in the biggest way that you can. So that's a, another idea for you that you could use. Uh, some other places for you, HuffPost. So HuffPost has a contributor platform that covers a wide range of topics, including business, entrepreneurships, and perhaps even topics in your niche. So have a look at HuffPost and see if there's something there that you think, oh yeah, like there's somebody writing about this. I could also write about that from a different perspective. So that's a, another opportunity for you to get your content seen by thousands, if not millions of people over the course of time that that article is shared. Quora, you might have used Quora to go and ask a question but you could also use Quora to answer other people's questions. So this is a great way of positioning you as an expert in your field. And of course, as you answer their questions, you can also say, I actually wrote about this in XYZ blog, go check this out. Or I created a video on this exact topic just last month go to my YouTube channel. You'll find out more. I've answered this question in more depth. You might even look at a question on Quora, decide that you are going to create content to respond to that. And you could create a video on YouTube and say, hey, I just saw your question. I think it's great. Here are some tips for you. And I've created an article, read it here, or I've created a video, or I've just recorded a blog, um, a, a podcast to answer your question click here to go find out more. You can use these platforms to drive them out to other things. And I really would actively encourage you to have your platform and their platform dancing together in that way. Reddit is another great place that you can show up. There are things called subreddits. So you go and find the subreddit related to your industry or niche and then start sharing content on that. So for example, I've just given an example here. If your business is in the spiritual space, you could go and find relevant subreddits that people who are interested in sub, uh, uh, spiritual topics, such as uh, R stroke spirituality or R stroke mindfulness, R stroke stress, R stroke anxiety, R stroke workplace well-being, whatever it is that you want to talk about, go and do a search and see if there's already content that's showing up for that. Because if there is, then it shows that there's a potential need for what you're talking about. And you could just give yourself a month, maybe say, I'm going to submit one or two articles a week for a month to this platform. And if I don't get anything from it, then I'll choose a different platform. But over the course of that month, I'll have written topic that can be repurposed and used in other places. And you might choose two or three of these places that I'm sharing with you and share that article across those 
three places, maybe tweaking about 25% of that article. So write one article, but repurpose it so that you get in it into three different places and just rehash around 25 to 30% of the article to feature it on another platform and that way you are creating unique content for each of those platforms but you're using the skeleton structure of the main article to be able to do that so that you haven't got duplicate content that's either registering on their platform and also on google remember google will look at duplicate content and it will just disqualify it so all of these places are very keyword rich they are google juice so you want to be using these to get yourself featured on Google and get yourself ranked even higher. The higher you their website ranks, the higher your article has the potential to rank and for you to be found uh, in a bigger way by more strangers converting them into friends. Mix is formerly known as stumble upon you might have heard of that before mix allows you to share content with a wide audience so again you can think about what topic and niche you want to show up in and go and see if there's something happening there and if there is start writing some content contribute some content for it another way is you write your articles and then you guest post on specific blogs so for example you might do some research on your specific industry and find that there are three websites that are really crushing it that you could contribute your content on their website so write the articles and then submit them so send an email to the person who owns that website and say hey I would be really honored to write some content for your blog I've taken the liberty of writing one that's in alignment with what I think your values are and the content you're sharing with your audience. I'd love to have you sub use this article on your website to help your viewers, help your readers um, with my specific area of interest, which is this. And so give them that blog. I've posted other people's blogs on my blog they've sent me an article they've done exactly this strategy they've reached out to me by email they've said uh, exactly what i've just said to you i've gone back to them and said read the article brilliant totally fits with what we're doing where do you want it to link to and so they'll say oh um my youtube channel or i mean you could actually put that in there in advance to save someone like me having to reach out back out to you and say where do you want this to go because obviously you want you want to drive that traffic to somewhere else. So it might be your YouTube channel. If you don't have a blog or a website yet, you might have a Facebook group or something. So that might be, you know, use this as an opportunity to um, have their blog be your lily pad to jump them from their blog to, to yours. Another way of doing it is to reach out to me. We have our Ripple Makers platform. So if you've got something that you think will be really impactful that would help Ripple Makers who are wanting to make a, a difference out in the world, they want to create opportunities for other people, they want to speak, train, coach, they want to create a ripple effect in the lives of others. If you've got content that you think would be really helpful for my people, then send me your article, write your article, send it to me, do exactly the same thing that I just suggested with a guest post, only you're writing it to me. And if I think that it will help our, our viewers, our readers and our listeners, then I will most definitely feature that. I'll copy and paste your content into our blog and I'll send it out with a link to you or your website or wherever it is you want them to go. And that will get you seen by all the people that I've built up in my audience. Another thing you could do is post on Google My Business. So if you have set yourself up with a Google My Business page, you will need a physical location to do that. But if you've set yourself up with a Google My Business account and uh, you, I mean, you can basically use it just like any social media platform. You can put your posts up there. You can share what's going on in your business that day. You can put articles. You can do all kinds of things with Google My Business. You can upload images. You can show demonstrations of your work, videos. You can put all sorts of things on Google My Business. Of course, anything to do with Google is gonna help your ranking and get you found by more strangers so that you convert those strangers into friends and hopefully lifetime clients. So you can use the post feature on Google My Business to share all your updates and articles. It's a brilliant way of you getting found by Google. And of course, if somebody's typing into Google the problem that they have and your articles on your Google My Business account, 
match the relevancy of the question that they're asking, then they're going to show your article. Alignable is another way that you can connect with other local businesses and share your expertise on their community platform. So if you want to connect with other business owners around the world or you want to collaborate, you're looking for ambassadors, you might be looking for partners to take your content out, your message out to the world. You might even be um, training other people on how they can take your method out to the world. So you might connect with other people on Alignable and create a, a brilliant network of other people that could be sharing your content and maybe even training in what you provide and going out there and sharing it with their own networks. Biz Sugar is another one. You can share small business tips and articles. So if you've got a business related niche that you're focused on or content that you're focused on, this is a great community driven platform. You can share your articles and tips on there inbound.org is another one if you have marketing specific so if you're a marketing specialist or visibility or branding or publishing or trademarks anything that is specific to uh, growing and building a business using marketing or visibility strategies then this is a, a really good one to start featuring your business on write some articles for them Ezine articles is another one. It's a directory. You can submit your articles and promote your articles on there. Buzzfeed is another one. You might have heard of them before. So if you've got a bit of a lighter tone, then Buzzfeed could be the best place for you to be sharing your content. Just go on and have a look at the Buzzfeed community. See if they're talking about topics like the topic that you want to share and just get started. Start submitting. Another one is patch. So if your business serves local communities, then say you've got a charity or an organization that you want to support in your local area, patch allows you to contribute hyper local content, like really, really local content around your local area with local audiences. So it's worth you checking that out if you have a physical in-person business. D zone is another one if you are tech related. So if what you do is around the tech industry, having a tech conversation, then D zone is a, a great community for developers and tech professionals where you can start really building up your brand and your expertise, your wisdom in there. The Moz community is ideal for you if you're in the digital marketing space. I'm just going to whiz through these now because there are, there are so many um, places that you can get your message across. Uh, big, bigger Pockets is a great one if you're in the real estate industry, uh, the property sector. Uh, Justia, if you're in the legal industry, you can post legal articles and showcase your expertise on there. Company updates, industry insights, thought leadership content. Great. If you want to get that across, use Crunchbase. Academia, another one for academic type content. I thought I'd throw this one in here as well because um, there are many people, certainly in my community, that are either in a spiritual business themselves or they want to that they want to create content and support people that are going through their spiritual transition, for example. So uh, spiritual networks is a really good one to create discussions around that specific topic and use their network to build your own network and drive them out to you. Uh, Tumblr is also another good one. Soul bridging, if you want to attract people that are going through their spiritual journey. I threw these in because I know there's a, quite a lot of spiritual people in my community. Mindful living, so if you're doing anything to do with mindful living, mental health. Uh, Elephant journal is a really good one. If you're a coach or a trainer, a speaker, here are some that will really help you to get your message out there. And again, Harvard Business Review is an example. We've published in there, we've featured in there before. And while it is more selective, if you can get your article published on the Harvard Business Review uh, blog, then that can be a massive boost to your credibility, especially if you're a coach or a business leader uh, in the leadership domain. If you're a speaker, there are some other places like Toastmasters, for example, 
psychology today psychology life coaching niche that's good for for you if you're in that forbes Co uh, coaches council so if you're a coach if you're in business if you're a life coach that can be a, a great place to get your message out training industry blog <laughs> so there are lots of places that you can feature your content but create that content and then show up every day in as many places as you can to point people to it I hope that this has been useful for you. I can't wait to hear how you're getting on or out of all of the places that I've shared today, just put in the comments below, which ones do you think resonate with you? And maybe pick one or two that you think, yeah, actually I could create that one article and I can spread it across maybe three of the different networks. Here are the three that I'm gonna choose. And every day, if you spend an hour a day either creating that article or driving people to that article and then spend the rest of your day just getting on with what you do best then you're going to find that that visibility strategy just one hour a day is going to significantly increase your footprint it will create a ripple of impact beyond what you could ever expect and you're going to be helping lives that even if they don't comment even if they don't take the time to share and say thank you just know that you are making a difference and do it not for the likes and shares do it because it's the right thing to do. Take care. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do make sure you do that so you don't miss any of our other awesome content. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.